So, yeah, hello everyone. Glad to have you guys with us today. Um, this is for CanDAO, just an updated presentation as we're launching things right now. And uh, today we have guest speaker, co founder of uh, of of Candel with us, uh, Powell here in Dubai, and um, everyone. Our team is growing very, very fast right now. Um, it's uh, it, <laughs> it's been amazing how fast this is growing, and everyone is looking for a decentralized social media moving into Web three. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have had you know your accounts banned, or you know from Facebook and Instagram. You've probably had people impersonating you also in social media. Um, and censored on social media, all these things. And uh, we believe that uh, the people should own their data since uh, social media is a public utility. And also this becomes the core, has the potential to be to the core foundation of um, not just social media, but network marketing, affiliate marketing, uh, especially with so many companies coming out nowadays and also so many different uh, cryptocurrencies coming on the market out there right now. I think we have about 2.3 million different cryptocurrencies in the market right now, um, and I've said this now for over a decade, monetization beyond blockchain. Uh, and what I mean by that is that we have the potential to have a social media grid with this technology. Um, the, uh, it's already taking place. Um, and this only has to be done one time here, that we monetize our social networks. Mm -hmm. And we have accomplished that here at Candow. Um, over 850 people have joined me uh, here in Candow at the moment. Uh, we are growing here. Let me see. I'm here. I'm trying to mute out. Uh, there we go. We are growing extremely quickly right now. And um, um, anyways, so I want to share with you guys how I'm sharing this platform. And I'm going to put two links into the comments of this video on YouTube, you guys. There is two videos that I'm sharing with this, um, and it's a four-minute video and a seven-minute video. So as you guys are showing Candow to your prospects, to your people out there, I say, hey, look, I've got 11 minutes worth of videos that I'm sharing out there. The first four-minute video is about um, the, the, the vision of the Candow founders, and the second video is a seven-minute video on the technology. And give this your undivided attention, and this will boost your serotonin, and also your skin will stand on end when you see the potential of this platform. Uh, Powell, um, uh, so I, I'm going to put those video links here uh, in the, in the um, uh, and, and down below, and I'll make sure that you guys have those. So I think if you guys would take the approach of just showing those two videos and then having them sign up for free, creating the account within the Countdown Network, and there's two separate, I'm just kind of giving you guys an overview of this real quick and we'll dive into this, but there's two aspects of this. People signing up for free into the social the social media grid. And then the second one is if people choose to partake in in spreading the, the cryptocurrency, spreading the 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 uh, the, um, the hubs, these uh, the hubs for Candao ecosystem for the minting of the coin, the CDO token. Uh, this is a binary compensation plan. So I know there's been a lot of people that have already joined Candao you know, registering, um, but they're not, it's very important that they get locked in to the binary compensation plan of the CDO token. So we want to make sure that um, you guys get in as quickly as possible with that right there. Uh, Pal, if you want to go ahead and chime in, um, or does anyone have any questions at all that maybe we want to address up front a little bit here at all? Okay, um, Peter. Uh, Peter's uh, one of my, my my biggest leader here with us uh, in America as well. Peter, do you want to comment at all? I know you're on vacation at all right now. Yeah, I'm kind of a little bit in a position where it's a little bit difficult because I'm in the middle of the room with all my family yeah, and I don't have my headphones right now. Yeah, just so just, just yeah, just yeah. enjoy. So um, you guys, again, we're growing very very fast right now. And the, the potential of this is so big because let me give you an example of this is for people are asking, well, how do you make the money in the social media network? OK, so again, let's focusing on the social media grid. What happens here is let's say that, for example, um, uh, you know, uh, for example, Peter under, comes in underneath me and can down. He brings a friend who brings a friend that has a car dealership, for example. OK. And uh, that car dealership, instead instead of uh, um, advertising that's paid nowadays, like um, pay per click advertising is very very big in the online space. The pay per click advertising people are paying for advertising pay per click on on Facebook. They're paying for it on on Instagram. They're paying for it on YouTube, Google, all this stuff. But what how this is changing? How Dow, can Dow changes the entire uh, scenario here? 
is now the monetized network is the one that is spreading the word about a company. So again, back to this example, imagine um, that person down below, Peter has a car dealership, for example, and he says, well, look, I'm going to go ahead and put 15% of all the sales back into the network, going back to the people in the Candow ecosystem. The, that 15% can be set up in a, in a smart contract into the social grid. So whenever a car sale takes place, a portion of that car is, ex is going to all the members in that network right there. Okay. And then what happens is people start seeing money coming to them from all these different businesses that come on board or different products that are being sold through the Candow network. For example, we came up with the idea of having a VPN for sale through the Candow network because a lot of, uh, you know, America, we use a VPN and probably other countries as well. That can be a commissional product. It could be all the way down to a coffee shop, for example, as well. So um, I hope you guys understand the magnitude and the transition that took place. Like pay-per-click advertising was something that was just done, I don't know for how many years, but um, you, this is a multi-mega, mega billions of dollars that are put in pay-per-click advertising now. So imagine that ad revenue going back to the people in this monetized network uh, scenario right here. And imagine that tying into the cryptocurrency of the social media network, which is the CDO token. The big, big thing I also like to point out is, again, with 2.3 million different cryptocurrencies in the market right now, okay, that's a lot of freaking cryptocurrencies in the world right now, right? They are on so many different blockchains, right? So imagine with um, Can DAO, I explained it as Can Build on a DAO, Can Build on a Decentralized Autonomous Organization. Imagine the ability for all these blockchains in the world to actually build on to the social media structure. This isn't like Ethereum just coming out with their own social media network. This isn't, you know, Binance Smart Chain coming out with their own social network. We embrace all the blockchains to have the potential to build on this. And also look at this as the future Web3, it changes it because nowadays you have the Google Play Store and you have the Apple Store, for example. Okay. These are the gatekeepers. They're, they're I mean, to go ahead and get an app launched on one of these platforms. You have to go through all the criteria, make it sure it checks out, or they won't even let you launch it on their platform. Okay. But in this, what happens here is imagine our social media network now becomes the coolest thing, becomes the Apple Store, becomes the Google Play Store right there. Right. I mean, basically, you can look at all these subscription based models out there, like Spotify, for example, or let's take like a, a dating app, for example, that pay $20 a month on like Bumble or Hinge or whatever it may be out there. You know, now in Web 2.0, those companies take that $20 a month subscription or $30 a month subscription. No money goes back or maybe a, 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 you may get a small referral fee possibly on some of these things. But imagine if like um, a, a Zoom came to the platform. These models are very simple to replicate and then put it into our system to where we have so many income streams coming into this. For example, let's say that um, uh, a dating app comes on $20 a month. Typically, they come on with us and they end up taking you know five dollars of each subscription but they hand out 15 um, per, uh, the other 15 dollars of that back to the field through the monetized net social media structure of Candal. I'm just giving you guys examples of what's possible here because um, the it's uh, you know there's just so much potential here. Uh, Powell, can you join us here to say something? Yes, yes of course just one second. No so problem. I'm, I'm ready on my side. Uh, I would like to then share maybe the screen to to show sure. you. Yep. Let me go ahead and make you host, brother. One the second. concept. Yeah, yes. Please. Okay. Um, change host. Make me host back, Paolo, at the end so I can hit the re and record. Yeah, you guys, thank you for being here today. Uh, Paolo, you've got uh, host privileges now. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, so you have made quite a good intro. I would like to make a big picture. So can you see the presentation? Yes. Okay. So um, we are building web free social media platform powered by AI technology, the centralized social media platform. And the big goal is to share whole economic turnover to literally everyone. So imagine possibly $350 trillion market industry that can be shared to the people. Uh, all good, can you hear me? Okay, I thought something. Yeah, we are good. Uh, so, yes, we can yes, hear so, you. Uh, 
that's we, that's our uh, that's our team. You can see Robert, second co-founder, Piotr, our CTO, and other people. So the big vision, we want to share data to the people. We are sharing data, giving them back so that they will actually own it. And in order to, to make it happen, we are exposing people wallets to the economic turnover. So it's so simple. And to do so, we, um, our mission is focus on sharing wealth and connecting people, not just connecting people like on Facebook, for example. And uh, to do One so- One second, can you mute we... Lisa and Wes, please? Mute, uh, guys, uh, Shane, mute out, please. Sorry about that, pal. To do so, we, we bring multiple products. Some of them, which you can see on the left, uh, are already there. You can already use it like today. And uh, some others uh, from on, on the right, uh, they are coming soon. So Q3, Q4, and so on. So the first is social media platform, just like on Facebook, just like on Instagram. You can create posts. You can also generate posts by AI so that you can have a very easy way to uh, to share content, to, to create content. But also the unique part is that behind this content, there is referral link included so you can share and actually earn because you are getting referrals and those referrals will build network and you will be paid from this network. So that's first. Social wallet is second. So basically imagine that uh, your uh, your wallet is not just a wallet like you know MetaMask. It's also a social wallet so that you can own your relationships. You have private keys to it. So um, imagine that in this wallet, you can have your followers, right? And let's say, what would happen if you do something against of policy of Instagram? How many people have lost their followers uh, if they, they actually did something that Facebook didn't like, right? So in this case, it's impossible because you have private keys to it and you will always own it. And if you invite your friends to Kendall, then they are becoming a referrals and these referrals also are in your wallet. So you own it with your private keys, then you cannot lose it. That's very important. And third element that I'm really proud of is that you can join to Kendall, not with private keys only, of course, it's the most important and the most safe. Uh, I, I always encourage people to uh, to focus on their private keys. But the thing is that right now you don't need to remember it. Like like in the past, it was necessary to write down your seed phrase, to write down your you know, 24 words. But what about that you can simply uh, join with your Google account or your Facebook account, right? And then we are generating a wallet for you and your private keys are inside this wallet. And regarding chat, so every social application need to have a chat, right? And this is wallet to wallet communication so that people can uh, talk to each other. But as I said, it's wallet to wallet communication. You have private keys to it, so it's safe in your wallet. We go forward. Those things which I'm showing right now, they will be available in Q3 uh, as a pre-launch. And then in next months, we're going to uh, release like step-by-step. Step. Those which I was showing a minute ago, uh, they are actually there already. If you download our application from App Store, you can enjoy benefits of having social wallet. Quests, so quests, are um, like our TikTok, TikTok 3.0, because you will be able to uh, earn money from your content that you produce, but directly from the people that are your uh, followers, because uh, you will create content that they will pay you for if you are doing something that maybe they want. 
Imagine that you could challenge the biggest TikToker on earth or just average influencer to do something special, special or whatever basically you wish. For example, jumping from Burj Khalifa, right? Uh, and if I would challenge today or anyone from us would challenge today the biggest TikToker or I don't know, Rihanna or whoever to do something like this, they would definitely uh, not accept the deal, right? But if there is an influencer who will get specific amount of money in like kind of crowdfunding, right? So let's say 10,000 people decided to pay $50 to see this guy to jump from Burj Khalifa, then he will already see liquid cash, maybe half a million, million, five millions, who knows? Then probably he could change his mind. And this is the way how we want to make like a viral effect. So that first of all, people could have new income streams. And second of all, they could grow their communities. They could build their follower base and uh, referral base like never before because they own it. And then we want to let them monetize it. We want to let them monetize it with our payless marketplace at first. There are also different income streams I will also mention. Uh, and, but let's focus on this. What is payless? Payless is, is the mar marketplace where you have cashback program. So imagine that you that. can go, you can go to any uh, coffee shop, any uh, no. restaurant, any Nike, sh uh, Nike, uh, Nike shop. And whenever you are buying something, you're getting cashback in a token, CDO mm -hmm. token. So let's say you are buying a coffee in Starbucks and in a moment when you, as you can see here, when you choose your cappuccino, you will get paid CDO tokens back. But first of all, what for? So if you would get cashback from all these cashback programs, and this is another 10 cents or 20 cents, what would you do with 20 cents, right? I mean, you know, it's really not nice. Of course, we can accumulate it. There is more and more, but it's still not attractive. What about if the price, the value of the token can grow? So how can we ensure that the value can grow? Simply because all of us, when we are doing a transaction, we are also burning tokens. So if you buy a cappuccino and you get the stand CDO tokens, you will also burn some of those tokens and there will be decreased supply. So when you are decreasing supply, I can also do it, right? If I'm going to uh, take some, um, get some tokens from my different pizza, right? Or from different shoes, or maybe I invest in a project or maybe I hire someone. The spectrum is very large, like in social media, you can imagine. Uh, then this money is all the time used to buy back tokens and burn tokens. So it's like, I call it infinitely deflationary model. And I want to also mention different, uh, different income streams. So uh, we have so-called social graph. On social graph, you can discover your network. You can discover the value of your network and how that, how that can impact you as a person. So let's say you have invited 20 friends to Facebook. And uh, do you know how many friends those friends invited? No. But what about if they invited friends and those guys invited friends? So potentially you invited 100,000 people to Facebook and you never knew about it. And you never knew how much money Facebook has made because of this, right? So, and in this graph, you will exactly see and follow this information who, I mean, not specific by person, but um, how many people has been invited? How big is your network, like total network? And you will be rewarded from all these income streams. And the income stream, as I mentioned uh, above, was, for example, payless, but also it will be advertising. It will be subscriptions of different kind. It will be, uh, it will be uh, deals, like token deals, if you buy a tokens on a swap, or different, um, different uh, coin offerings, then we are charging fees literally everywhere. And from these fees, we are taking the money to distribute to the people. And that's the magic actually. 
and every application, every feature we are using, we are powering by our Kandao AI to make it special. So if we compare Kandao to other social media platforms, we are really modern, right? And we have some unfair advantages. Okay, native token for transactions, that's one. But what about earnings from economic turnover? You will not get it on Facebook, you will not get it on Instagram or, or TikTok. Then pay less with cashback, definitely you will not get it there. User owning data, content ownership, followers and referrals ownership, so, so relationship ownership, you will never get it there. Why? I think this answer is kind of obvious because those corporations will never give back data to the people. This is their business model. They're making billions of billions of billions of dollars and they will defend it in the last moment because this is how they, how they uh, live their life, right? This is their business. So, and we, we share all this activity, we share all, we share all this um, profits to the network from all of their activities up to 50 levels. That's huge. So that's the big, that, that, that's huge. That, that's uh, extraordinary, I would say. Cool. And what, what about, you know, if you think for a minute, how you are building networks anywhere, right? It can be any MLM. So you are inviting your friends. There are some Zoom calls. We are on the Zoom call right now, amazing. And, but how big that can be, right? Maybe you will get some thousands of people, maybe 10,000, maybe 50,000, maybe just 500. Maybe if you're lucky, you will have a couple of hundred thousand people. But how, why to not grow to millions of people, right? How many followers many influencers have or key opinion leaders or, or celebrities, right? Millions of millions of millions. So what about if you could invite them to table? to actually be part of your network. And whenever they are building, where they are creating content for, uh, for their communities, they could invite them to Kandao. But guess what? If they, are, if they are doing it right now for, let's say YouTube, how much money they can make on YouTube? Let's say I have created a video, I've got million views, and I will get paid maybe $1,000. Maybe a couple hundred, maybe two thousand, depend on their uh, on their engine and uh, advertisers, which are basically used at the moment. Uh, what about if those people are building their communities like an like a, they would build up their assets, so that if they are going to make this video, for example, on Kandao and share everywhere, and let's say. 10%, 20% from this, those views, from this 1 million will join to Kandao. This is potentially 200,000 people, right? 100,000 people. What about if those people will invite friends or part of them also will be content creators who will invite more. So this really can be a big number and we are sharing to everyone. So, and behind there is a CDO token, a native token, for the for the Kandao protocol, and um, we have some best things, of course, of course, for everyone who is going to enjoy the token, so that this can be very solid, um, very solid uh, tokenomics. And there are so many utilities behind, as I already mentioned, like advertising, subscriptions, um, and payless, right? Everything is related to buyback program. So we are all the time decreasing supply and also we are buying for stakers, which are delivering so-called maintenance services to the protocol. So then you can stake tokens, you can enjoy a lower fees, you can enjoy making One second, money on please. the- One second, please, Spikes, can you please mute out Jania Spikes? How can you mute her out, please, Jania Spikes? Thank you. Go ahead. Sorry about that. Yes, thank you. So that's it. And before we go on big exchanges, you know, like tier one exchanges, tier two exchanges, we will build up liquidity. Uh, so to do so, 
we are going to introduce to you our AI-based algorithm, so-called bonding curve. This will happen on our conference. I mean, we will present it then, and then uh, soon after, everything will start like fully, and we're going to build massive liquidity so that we could grow um, exponentially and uh, just soon after also go for all these big exchanges. So I would like to come back for a minute to this coffee example. So how, how really we are sharing this money? Let's say you have a coffee of $5. Of course, part will go to the merchant. This is an example of 85. It could be maybe, maybe 90%. It maybe will be 82, depend on the merchant. Uh, and in this case, we would share like 10% as a cashback and 5% to come our protocol. So how that how is that sharing? Uh, how it is shared to all the other parts? So 1% would go to the referrer who invited this coffee shop, the Starbucks. Then part 1.5, is going to the network, so that the community. Then part is going to come down like 1%. Then we are taking 1% to creators, so those which are actually getting clients uh, for for those um, places. Sometimes there might not be creators in specific um, examples. And then buyback also can be increased. So, and we are always sharing 50-50 for burning and for staking. And if we consider cashback program right now, so this 50 cents, 10 million users, 10 million people drinking one coffee a day is 300 million coffees a month, <laughs> which is 30 million CDO tokens for staking and burning if we share 50-50, right? At the price of five cents. But the thing is, this is just a coffee and this is just one shop. Yes, yes. So, and Kandao market is extreme. The potential is huge. So the market size we estimate for just, just $54 billion. And it's coming from like advertisement, business links, live stream, payless, swaps, social launch pads, and so much more. We are just not showing here because the screen is too small and to make presentation, you know, sufficient right. for everyone. And this is how we share it. 20% is going to the network. 10%, uh, 20%, sorry, is going to Kambao. 10% as a buyback, 50-50 for staking and burning and 50% to creators. But first of all, this is an average that we want to, uh, we want to achieve, but it can be a little bit less. It can be a little bit more. It can be sometimes without creators or with creators. So those numbers will change. It will really depend based on income stream that we are considering. And my network potential, I already explained before, is going to show you how much money, how much profits, how much tokens you're able to make, for example, per year. And right now, if you would sign in to Kandao, you can see already your social graph. You can see the people that are there, uh, but uh, we are currently preparing specific data sets so that you can also um, see like real estimations. So what is your real potential of your network? Would you like to find out what is the value of your network? Right, because we don't know it, right? Yes. Till now, till now. So the fur the four main opportunities for a Kandao user. First, be part of a revolutionary social media platform. Second, the larger your network, the greater your potential earnings. Third, invite businesses to pay less and earn from each sale. And fourth, create content to receive rewards. It's so simple. And that's the chart I really love the most because it shows how the supply can change over time and when people join the protocol. So the thing is that this is a movement that all of us benefit from. So think about it. If you are, if you to start 
getting CDO tokens from your transactions. So let's say you go to this, you know, Starbucks or McDonald's or whatever you want to go to the cinema and you are scanning your QR code to get CDO as a cashback. I mean, why not, right? Then you will earn this CDO and the next thing you will think about, okay, so how can I uh, increase the value of my, of my tokens? Well, I will invite my friends. If I invite my friends, and they do the same. We've got All the of us, we are burning press tokens. conference coming up on Thursday. The big boy press conference, which Drew, is weird. Please mute out. Drew, Travis, please mute out. I don't think anything can be worse than that. Drew, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Rise, just so, mute everybody. <laughs> I don't have control of this. Sorry, guys. He is host. Go ahead. Go ahead, Paul. Yes. So uh, I would think about that. I will invite all my friends because if they are going to uh, perform transactions, then my savings will actually increase and they will think exactly the same. So all of us, we have direct benefit, like the same benefit when people were sharing their Bitcoins, right? I bought the Bitcoin, buy two. Why? Because limited supply, right? Because there will be even less in time uh, because people lose Bitcoins and so on. But here we are actually burning tokens. All of you are burning tokens. This yeah. is very, very special. So more people means more transaction fees, means more burn CDO tokens, means lower CDO supply. So I call it infinitely deflationary model. And that's our roadmap. So we are, we are starting right now. Basically, we already started with our beta open with our pre-launch so that everyone can enjoy the applications uh, and start building this movement together with us. Then Q3, we are pre-launching our big products. So quests, live streams, and payless. And then everyone will see how actually it's working, right? And Tandao as a platform will actually launch. Then investing will start and we will just come up with new, more and more and more great features. Like, for example, you will be able to see people on the maps. You will be able to see meet people on the maps because if you own your data, you have access to your community, actually to everyone like never before. So. Maybe I just give you this one last example. Think about it like that. If, if you would go to Google or Facebook because you would like to get some specific customer, maybe you're looking for someone who will buy a real estate, then, uh, then you would probably need to pay some quite good money for advertising to get some uh, targeted clients. Of course, you can also launch your channel. You can also, um, you know, get followers and uh, build up step by step. They had to bring some of those uh, opportunities for everyone. But if you would really would like to uh, get lots of lots of connections uh, to those people which you're looking for, unfortunately, you, you will pay for it and quite a lot. So we are giving data back to the people means also that you can target people in a new way. Imagine that you can just choose who is your target group and you know what will you pay to meet these people like maybe in five minutes? Subscription fee like on Netflix. That's it. Thank you. Very nice, pal. Thank you so much for that. Uh, can you make me host again, pal, please? All yes. right. There you go. That was just awesome. I mean, you guys think about like, what is the purpose of blockchain technology? What is the purpose of cryptocurrency? What is the purpose of social media? And look at where we are um, now, just in this world where hi hyperinflation taking place, people looking for opportunity, so many network marketing companies and people jumping from business to business to business. I truly believe that we have the solution here. And 
that we, we, we have the, the ability to move this so freaking fast right now. And I just invite, we invite you to be part of this and help spread this every single day. Uh, Powell, I think we're jo uh, growing about, about at this moment, about a thousand people per day at the moment. Right. But uh, correct. About a thousand people a day. I mean, I mean, there are maybe a couple hundreds if we, we are considering an average, but yes, it's quite fast growing. Yes. Okay. So, um, let me see. I'm just posting this, uh, Facebook live right there, but, uh, you guys, thank you so much for your time. Let's get to work. Uh, we'll hold some more um, leadership calls about this and uh, have the PDF so you, you can share this and show with people why this is so gigantic. I'm just like in awe right now. Does anyone have any questions at all about this? Any any comments? Uh, John, you're pretty analytical. You want to give a comment about that, Riggs? I, I, also, I also would like to say something. Uh, because uh, this is a special moment I would like to use. I have actually a few minutes. Normally, I don't have, really trust me. I'm extremely overloaded. Uh, but today I have. So if you have some questions, feel free. I will answer anything you want. Yes, thank you. John, Tyson, Chris, questions? I think everyone's coming awe about this, man. This is like wow. I'll I'll, I'll speak up, Ryan. Thank I was you. unclear on the um, onboarding process, whether or not I had fully done it. There's something about a uh, an on chain uh, step in the process that is separate from uh, it might be separate from what I did already. Correct. If you've got it since you've got us all together. Here's this a good time to go through yes. that. Yes, definitely. Uh, Powell, go ahead, please. So the importance, uh, the importance of signing up on chain beyond taking a free membership with in Countdown. Yeah. So I mean, first of all, Countdown is free and will be always free, right? And you are joining to Countdown in order to benefit from all the economic turnover from literally everything. If you consider also um, that there is like on chain network our partner, uh, there is. Uh, maybe possibility to earn from inviting people uh, to buy staking hubs, um, then yes, there, there are some, you know, costs, right? There is like a uh, possibility to, uh, to, to uh, make money, uh, but uh, consider this like a separate entity, right? And uh, yeah, but uh, what exactly I could add to what I have already said before. That, that's good enough for there. Um, so the point is, is you want to get with your leadership in this. Uh, Peter Ohani and I work very closely. So Peter's on vacation again. If you guys need assistance, we just need, uh, we're helping you get into that right there, into the binary. Obviously, the faster you you get involved on, on chain, it's very, very important. Do not hesitate on that. And uh, we'll teach you how to do that today. So Amina, go ahead. Mina is my sponsor that brought me into Kendall. Welcome, Mina. I call thank you very much, dear Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> um, and my my uh, thank you very much, also dear Pavel, also for the quick coming. Sorry that I just um, yeah write you, and it's my my appreciate that you have the time to give us the, this amazing presentation. I'm very appreciate. Thank you very much, and uh, it was fantastic presentation. Um, thank you so much. You're most welcome. And thank you, Ryan, for the quick organization, the Zoom link that we uh, that uh, that we organized very fast, the Zoom call. Thank you very much for your amazing, great job. I'm very proud of you. And I'm proud of all of you uh, that you're joining very fast here. And I say that Kandao, I can say, is an amazing, amazing, unique, the best platform of the world that you can see. Because is it for free? Is it secret? You can earn money. How amazing, how such amazing is that? I'm 18 years in network marketing, but this kind of platform, this kind of possibility, I never see before. So yeah. guys, ladies and gentlemen from ever of the world, please share to everybody of your family, your friend, your everybody as you can, because candles for everybody. Yeah, That's yeah. 
Thank you, Mina. Um, Thank you from your heart. Yeah, and I I just want to share also. Um, since I got involved in Bitcoin twelve years ago, um, I have always followed the path of incentivized social media for moving. You know, fiat money, social media incentivization. You know, in its evolution from there's one called TSU. There's something called FutureNet. There's you've seen these social media platforms trying to pay the people. Can Dow and I've been studying this for 12 years, Can Dow has absolutely nailed it and we're creating this together. And I really believe that we are here on this planet today to go ahead and make the change for future generations. I'm not sure you know how many children, you, you know, if you guys have children or not, but we wanna change this, this world for the better right here. And I truly believe that this technology right here, we only need to monetize one time in the, in, in the, in, in, uh, for future generations. I mean, imagine in future generations, they're basically born into their social media grid because this will happen uh, here. And, you know, and what are pe what are children going to do with with artificial intelligence coming out with, you know, I, I mean, self-driving cars with robots coming out? All this is happening very, very quickly right now. It's, it's crazy, right? It's happening so fast, right? Tesla robots are rolling out like next year, whatever, right? For cheap. And so where are the jobs going? There is so much money in this in so much we're talking trillions of dollars social media itself is a trillion dollar industry right there glow you know mark uh, advertising trillion so this is the next phase of it all and the potential for us to make many many mega millionaires and even billionaires in this platform is very possible and we will i'm convinced so anyone else have any comments and we'll wrap this up uh hello Hello, turn your video on if you would, please. Uh, forgive me, I'm having a lot of health issues, so forgive my okay. parents. No problem, go ahead, brother. Thank you so much, no problem. Uh, let me see. Um, Hello, Pastor yes. Carl. Yes, hi. So I just wanted to know, as we're promoting this, is it possible that one day because it appears that it's not available in the USA. We have to use, use a VPN. So is there a special way how we can promote it since we have to use the VPN? Um, I, yeah, I'll go ahead and comment on that right there. First of all, pal, I brought this to Robert's attention the other day. I mean, this is a VPN is uh, is an example of a, script, a subscription product. You know, they're about $50 a year. We, um, we are uh, looking for... Um, um, please keep this in mind. It may be if you have access to companies out there that are VPN that would want to go ahead and get the upper hand and, and tie into our community to where we could pay this money back to the community and have them you know, reap the benefits of our humongous network. That's just an example of a digital product. Uh, currently, I'm just working with um, um, Tunnel Bear. Okay. Uh, and so, yes, we have to have a VPN. Go ahead, pal. You want to comment a little bit more about that, please? Uh, pal, if you'd done the, the importance of it, we're just using VPN right now in the United States. Um, obviously, um, United um, States is the social media capital of the world. Can yeah, I say ahead, something? Me. Because Pavel has some technical issue. Can I say something about this VPN? Um, the VPN is it the something that um, is a bridge, you know, that, that we can use. It's not officially, but it's something bridge that we can use between um to to make possible uh, that uh, from America uh, and uh, from some other countries like uh, Dubai also we have to need VPN some country needed this VPN to use that uh, the, the the registration and the connection for the company so that's why we need the VPN it's have nothing to do with the Kendall it's a just about the uh, connection for the countries that they want that and, and and that's the way that, that how we can use it for VPN to make possible to join this amazing platform because i have this connect uh, conversation also with power and with robot so that's why i know a little bit more uh that i can tell you that that's fine let's, let's just leave it at that for now no thank, yeah, you. thank you okay so uh, uh anyone else have any questions at all then we'll close this up just an observation this it's difficult to grasp the potential scale to this. Honestly, it's it's outside of my my realm of business uh, acumen. But what it sounds like to me is, uh, you know, we're basically inventing electricity practically, and we're going to be sending it out to people. It's it the potential is unfathomable. 
but it's so small still that that's why the potential is unfathomable. It's, you know, we're like the first ones on the first plane to do this. And uh, it, I'm, I'm trying to make the leap on how my involvement in this could scale to that level. Yeah. Because I, I, I like, I'm getting the numbers, but the, you know, the <laughs> stair I, steps, I, 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 each I, I, step I, is so big. It's like, wow, well, I, I there's think a lot. I, I, I think it's all perspective. How you look at, you can look at, wow, this is unfathomable, or you can say, this is the future and I'm part of it and I'm showing everyone this, this and just plug him in and not really, I mean, when Elon Musk goes and invents a rocket, he doesn't say, well, how do I make this little tiny screw? You know, he doesn't, he focuses on the big picture and just gets it done. Right. So, you know, we are going to expand yeah. people's minds and expand, you know, I changed my name to rise R Y Z E because I, you know, from Ryan to rise, because I'm, we're rising up in a way, a futuristic way. And we're all being empowered by technology right now. We are rising up in a way that we never have before. And, you know, society has been so beaten down with uh, the, you know, the economics and everything right now, we are going to, people's minds are going to be just mind blown, opened and consciousness is just going to, <laughs> be free <laughs> so uh, well so let me ask you though so if you follow the the idea like facebook started off you know it was basically guys wanting to, to uh, rate the the uh beauty quotient of uh co-eds at, at mit right it was just a, it was literally about girls faces and then they came up with you know the they, they scaled it to the largest social media ever um uh, to the point where it went public, right? So there was uh, private ownership and then public ownership. So I'm curious, you know, is there other than monetizing yourself inside the system that you uh, that Powell just uh, uh, is it Powell? Powell. Correct pronunciation just Powell. Powell? That's okay. correct. I um, mean, in Polish, yeah, nice to meet say you. Pavel, but it's also fine. It's good. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I know who Pavel yes, is. I'm, I think. I think. In, term, in any case, based on what I've just heard, okay, so you you get in early, and you basically are at the top of the pyramid as it grows. Okay, but will there be another form of monetization or a different level of ownership? The the whole model is that it scales to everyone. Is that correct? Yes. I mean, if you would consider that it would not then it would never go so big, right? Uh, because uh, let's say we have 1 billion people and the problem is that, as you call pyramid, would, you know, not have that big potential, right? That's why, uh, first of all, we uh, limit this uh, income streams to 50 levels, that's the first point. Second point, uh, we encourage people to own CDO tokens. So half of, for now, half of the um, of the social rewards, that's how we call this um, this uh, profits in tokens, um, are shared equally to the people, right? Uh, and second half actually depend on how much tokens you have on your wallet. So this is second point. But related to different um, layers, maybe I will call it like, you know, Kandao protocol is like a, like a lasagna, you know, it, it has different layers. And uh, if you, uh, <laughs> if you uh, make a relationship with someone you're making business with, right, then there will be like a scoring similar to page rank, right, in Google. And then algorithm will distribute wealth, not just because I invited you, you invited someone. Of course, it is in place and this relationship will stand, will be there. But we have to consider that, for example, today you could invite me, but in seven years, maybe you don't even know me. Maybe you don't like me, whatever. Maybe you just don't work with me. You have different community. You have different relationships with different people and you're making business with them. Right, so it has to be like more dynamic, and uh, this will be pretty advanced algorithm. Uh, but this is where we're going. Okay, I mean, just I hope I answered the question. Go ahead, Chris. 
I, I'm just following what you're saying. Yeah, this is a game changer for every country. My goodness. Okay. Well, let's plan to have another video soon. Maybe we can do these every, you know, a few times a week, whatever. But uh, appreciate you guys all being here. And uh, let's go ahead and sign off. And let's, it, one last question. One last question. Anyone? Got something good in the chat from Shane there you might touch on. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and see the chat real quick here. Uh, can you read it for us? I, I'm giving me one second. I'm trying to find the chat. Go ahead. Um, okay. So Shane says, can we have our own wallet on our own servers and transfer CDO tokens to it and stake from it? He's asking. That is a perfect question. I really love it. Uh, I tell you why. Uh, because uh, we are building the centralized social media. So we also need to deliver peer-to-peer -peer storage, right? So peer-to-peer -peer network um, where people can own content, right? And you have private keys to it, and but it's distributed. So to make sure it is uh, distributed and it's um, it's verified that you know content in node one is the same content as node two, then we need to have validators, and those validators will verify if it's actually the same. This is so-called proof of space and time, technically. Um, and from that point of view, everyone will have own servers or people will be able to rent servers that we provide or there will be different providers uh, so that they could be those validators and uh, earn CDO tokens uh, from literally everything. Because as I mentioned in the presentation, part is going to burning and second part is going to staking to this pool of stakers because those people who will mine tokens in this way, uh, they are going to actually deliver maintenance services, right? Uh, if there wouldn't be the centralized social media, that would be just centralized project, unfortunately, that wouldn't work, right? Every SEC would say, look, this is securities. It's so simple, right? But we are talking about the centralized social media, which actually really requires uh, people to validate content in order to deliver this, what we are really um, going for, right? So owning of data, data ownership. And uh, yes, so you will be able to own your servers and you'll be able to, to rent servers. There, there are different options, yes. But uh, when is also the uh, also the answer. Right now, we are developing um, application layer so that we can get some momentum. Uh, we already prepared something, as you already know. Uh, but um, the peer-to-peer -peer network requires, I can imagine, like one year still. So uh, this requires some time, and we will get there, just step by step. For now, uh, in the wallet, you have like relationships, you have followers, you have referrals, and step by step, you will own more and more and more. Awesome. Can I uh, piggyback that question? Uh, just a, kind of a yes or no. Do you have a plan to ha make Candow a wallet in and of itself or have a wallet function? Because that would be one stop shop. You wouldn't have to have a third party wallet if you did that. Can you give me just one second? Just literally one second. Uh, sure. One second. You like what you see, Chris? <laughs> no, I want to get in. Can I get in? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to understand. I'm trying to. I'm tr yeah, 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 I'm trying to get in. With my second device, I'm here, but you want screen share again, bud? Yep. yep. I will do it. Yeah. All right. One second, please. Your host again. I actually cannot. Uh, can you? I would maybe make myself make a host. Okay.
the wallet. Yes, okay. it's done. And that's the feed. So that uh, you can see, it's lagging, it's lagging. You can see people uh, writing, creating content. It's literally now because uh, I can see new people creating. When I, a few minutes ago, I was creating some content. Where is my content? Oh, that's me. I generated this content uh, some minutes ago, maybe like one hour ago when we had uh, this conversation, right? So people are posting constantly. Uh, the wallet, Sir, chat, so I can talk to people. Right. Robert, um, my profile. And pal, you're saying that it, it, uh, the posts are actually going to be able to use artificial intelligence to generate posts as well, correct? Yeah, yeah. Should I do it now? Yeah, go for it. Watch this, guys. Using AI to generate. And this is just I the of it, obviously. Content. Pardon? I said this is just the beginning of the AI integration. Yeah, for there is something, but I want to actually generate a quote if I'm sharing already. Let me generate a quote. What is this? Billie Jean King. No one changes the world who isn't obsessed. Okay, we are very obsessed. <laughs> so look how fast he just Post made a it. like that. Just uh, boom, AI. So basically, I'm currently creating a post, and this is it, generated. Yes, so we have wallet, and you own your relationships, and this is our, um, at the end, application of everything. I got a, I got a question um, for, so what's the plans with like uh, YouTube, you know, I mean, YouTube doesn't pay people that much, anything at all, but uh, like having a video housing within the system, what would that look like? Or what is, what's your vision there? First, what do you mean by that? YouTube is not paying. YouTube is paying kind of a lot to influencers. So not so much. I but... mean, but that's you thousand dollars have... per million views. So yeah, that's nothing. So, anyways, uh, what, what do you have a plan to integrate like a video? Uh, what's your thoughts on how video could be integrated in this business model? So, for, so first of all, videos are already there on the feed, right? Uh, let me just get, get the call from. Okay, yeah. So videos are there, and you can upload video as well. Uh, we are currently. Um, working on a grid like a similar that you have on instagram so if you go to the profile then you will see like a you know grid with multiple videos that you can pin and this will be very important for quests so that people can make live streams and so from that point of view they will have like a very heavy monetization tool right to invite friends to share content to build their follower base it will be massive yeah. so uh, and based on uh, based on videos, uh, we will add to this advertising a model similar to what YouTube has. But, you know, we really believe in redefinition of the current models out there because you really get paid only once if you create content, you know, on YouTube. And in our case, it's about that you are getting paid constantly from the network that you have built, right? From the network that you have invited directly or indirectly you know, doesn't really matter because this is your job that you have done. So we appreciate it as a protocol. Okay, excellent. Well, I think you guys, we should uh, uh, wrap this up now. So we'll plan another one up and coming and uh, thank you all for being on this call and uh, wishing you all a great day. <laughs> all right, see you guys. Thank you, pal. Thank Thanks. you so much. Awesome. Blessings. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank, thank you for Bye. everything.